Hi, I'm Greg from Motorsports Innovations and today I'm going to do a tutorial covering these five items that will help you do downloads and SD card maintenance a little more efficiently. The first one is setting the default configuration. That will save you a little time when you're doing read VNet config and things like that. Next, I'll show you how to set the default download date folder inside Datalink software. Uh, some of you, I'm sure, are experiencing when you go to do that download of a new run, uh, the default date is 2010 and that's more 2009. And just one more thing to change. I'm going to show you how to enter the date and time correctly during a download. I'm going to show you how to set the date and time inside the V300 SD or Sportsman so that you get the correct date and time on the download file. I'm going to show you how to clean off the SD card to do maintenance on it. We're also going to talk about getting a spare SD card. Alright, let's get started and go into Data Link. Once we get Data Link loaded up, you'll see that there are no configuration buttons here, so no configuration is loaded. So we're going to set the default to save some time during some steps that we'll do. We go to File and Open Car Configuration, and we're going to pick the one that we'd normally use. So I have one here out of my million choices. Typically you will have Sportsman on the left and Sportsman on the right, or possibly a V300 SD. So I'll load this up, and this is the correct configuration. It's a Sportsman with an air fuel sensor in it. Pretty much that's it. I'm going to go to File and click on Default Configuration. So then I'll exit Data Link and I'll go back in. And now you see that configuration is set there for future use to save me some steps uh, when we're doing read VNet config or other things. Next, I want to show you once I drag this part of the screen up so it's visible in the screen capture the date for the download. This is a good example. This particular computer, the default download date is 2009. So I'm going to change it to 2015. Change, whoops. <clears throat> change it to 2015. And I'm going to click on Save, which is the icon here, fourth one down. Click on Save. We can exit. Go back in to see it. And you can see the default date is 2015. And we will we'll, we'll see that, uh, put that to use in a moment when we go and do a new download. So I'm going to insert the SD card in to do a new download. Windows discovers that SD card. So we're just going to minimize that. We don't need that. We'll click on the icon for new download. We're going to pick a run from May of 2014. So it's May 23rd. I'm going to even jot down on my paper here that it's at 6.19 p.m. and that was uh, time shot one for that particular day and that is uh, 12 ddf I'm going to click on open notice the default year is 2015 which will be good going forward because it it is 2015 now but we're doing an older run so we do have to change this to 14 that track was ADCO the date wasn't December 24th the date was May 23rd, 2014, and the time was 18, 19, military time. That's the correct way to set the date and time for an older run. Next, you could put in the timesheet information. Next, skip the weather and now it has properly created that run.
Now I'm going to show you how to set the date and time internally in your V300 SD or Sportsman Data Recorder. First thing we'll do is we'll insert the SD card into the laptop. Windows will discover it as it always does and we'll minimize it because we're not going to access it directly with Windows Utilities. We're going to go into Data Link and just to show you what we're talking about I'm going to do start a new download I'm not really going to do one but remember in the examples I showed you before I have my system set up correctly meaning I recorded this particular run 4.ddf was recorded on April 17th 2014 and 517 so this date and time over here is a great tool when you do your downloads in order to for that time and date to match the time slip or it will match the time slip if it's set correctly and then you're, you're sure you're getting the right run. So I'm going to cancel out of that just so I've showed you what we're talking about. Cancel that and I am going to move the screen up like this in order to get these utilities visible from my screen capture for the video and you'll see set sportsman date and time if you have a V300 SD it will say V300 SD in there so I'm going to click on that it will give me a message about the date and time will be written to the flashcard the date and time it's talking about is the date and time inside your laptop now my screen capture won't show it but down on the bottom right below where I have the cursor circling around here is the actual date and time for this laptop so you want to check yours and make sure it is correct before you continue on and and fix that with uh, Windows utilities if it is not correct so assuming it is correct we're gonna say okay because this is just informing us about how the process works here's another informational message or, or actually it's an instructional message tells us exactly what we're going to do. You remove the SD card from the reader, insert it into the data logger, either Sportsman or V300 SD, and then turn the power on in the data logger. And that's what will bring the date correctly into your V300 or Sportsman data logger. In this segment I'm going to show you how to clean off the SD card of your your old runs so first we'll put the SD card into the laptop and we get our Windows discovery message which we'll get rid of we'll go into data link I'll move the screen upwards so the bottom section will be visible in your screen capture that goes on to the YouTube video and you'll see this button clear data files from memory card so we'll click on that and our various DDF files from the dates remember we were messing around with April 19th I think it was 2014 as some of the different runs and it's important to keep this cleaned off so this SD card has 118 runs on it which is getting close to the maximum you would want somewhere around 150 runs maybe maybe some guys push it beyond that uh, you'll get inconsistent recordings so you really want to clear them off uh, well below that so you have a couple different options in doing that uh, race pack probably uh, in the documentation talks about each time you download your runs so if you download your runs uh, immediately after making them you could delete one dot ddf and there would never be anything but one dot ddf on your sd card possibly you could uh, delete your runs when you do your logbook in the middle of the week so you delete six or eight or however many runs uh, each week starting back at one each successive race weekend but the truth is most guys don't end up doing that uh, in the beginning I recommend as you if you're a rookie with race pack is to keep the runs so you can re-download them to get all that date stuff um, learn how to do that correctly and so on and you can re-download uh, until you do get the hang of it but at some point you get to this situation where you've got too many runs you need to clean them off 
So we can delete selected files. So I could say, for instance, where'd my 118 disappear to? I could go from here to 100. and click on a bunch of them, the little box here. Delete selected files, and now I've deleted all mine in the 100 series, back to 99 being the highest one. But probably you wouldn't bother doing that. You would just delete all files. Now it's empty exit and you're good. Just as a little test we can do a new download and there's nothing there to download which is the correct result of what we wanted to do. Last thing I wanted to mention uh, in this video series of the download tips SD card maintenance is get a spare SD card. They're only 30 bucks. You want to have one if you uh, leave your SD card home and so you're not able to log runs without it. I even have one tied into my race car with a bread wrapper. So if I'm in the staging lanes and I look down at the V300 SD and realize that I had the card out and it's still on my laptop half a mile away in the pits, I can just take undo the bread wrapper and stick that SD card in right then so I'll never miss a run. I would make a million changes in my car and so that could be a real problem for me. So I'm Greg from Motorsports Innovations. Uh, if you have any questions on this video or anything on the race pack line, give me a call at 609-265-2110. Now for those of you that know Windows, I'll show you another way to do some SD card maintenance. I won't explain a whole lot in detail. It'll be self-evident if you know how to do this, and I wouldn't do it unless you're a pretty good Windows expert. So we can use Windows Utilities to do some things. So once I put the SD card in and we get our discovery message from Windows, go in and open to view files, we can actually make a folder in this particular case. You can't start it with the numeric value you need to say. Or how about this? <clears throat> Raw 2014 runs. Then you can do this and that. And put all that stuff in there, so now you've cleaned off the SD card using Windows Utilities and had a way to save them. So again, not recommended unless you know exactly what you're doing. Don't call me because this didn't work or you screwed it up somehow. You're on your own.